Hi ladies, thanks for tuning in. So today's tutorial is to show you how to get glowing. And as you can see, I'm super reflective and that's the whole point. I get a lot of requests asking how to get that glowy, healthy complexion without it looking like cakey or powdery. And that's what I'm gonna show you. So um, I do show a lot of techniques. You don't have to do them all. You can pick and choose which ones. I start with complexion. Um, I just like to do that in all my videos. For, you know people have different skin types and stuff or have certain ways of doing things I just like to um, have a wide variety of how to do it so of course you can pick and choose which one's more convenient for you and uh, which one for your skin type and all that stuff but I hope you like it and if you want to learn how to do it and how to get glowing all you got to do is keep watching alright to get glowing the first thing you want to do is prime so I'm using Makeup Forever number six. It's a brightening and illuminating primer. It has like a yellow tinge to it. And it smells like bananas. The foundation I'm gonna use today is by Smashbox. It's called Studio Skin. It's a 15 hour wear uh, foundation and I'm 1.2. Uh, I'm using this specific foundation because of the the durability of it and also uh, it's a medium buildable coverage so it's not really that heavy but it gives good coverage and I really just want to uh, have a really thin layer of foundation so I can concentrate on the glowy glowy aspect of our complexion so I'm going to mix the foundation with an illuminizer this one's by Buxom it's called Venus Divine Goddess Luminizer um, and I'm this one's oil free and my foundation's oil free and my primer's oil free so there's a theme going on here but I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand like so oh, that's way too much <laughs> Oops. and I'm just gonna do a couple pumps of foundation and I'm gonna mix them together and that way when I put my foundation on I'm gonna have like a dewy glowy finish but it won't be extreme you know and I'm gonna use a beauty blender by Sephora I've already wet it so it's uh, kind of plumped up right now and wetting your sponge just helps so it doesn't absorb all the product After you do your foundation, I'm going to take some more luminizer and I'm still going to use my sponge and I'm just going to put it down here on my neck and stuff so it looks like I'm glowy all over <laughs> instead of just on my face. Next I'm going to set, so I'm going to take my Makeup Forever HD powder, I'm going to put a little bit in the lid and I'm going to mix it with my Makeup Forever Star Powder number 940. It has like a golden undertone and that's going to help us get our glowy dewy complexion and I'm going to use a stippling brush and I'm just going to mix them together in the cap and I'm just going to kind of press it onto the skin. Alright I'm going to do a little contouring just so we can have our cheekbones more pronounced and it'll kind of uh, accentuate our glowiness. I'm going to use a loose powder in Butternut. This is by Graftobian. Um, and it's about three, it's a few shades darker than my natural skin tone. You need very little. I'm gonna use a fluffy brush. And I'm just gonna swirl it in the cap. And I'm just gonna do the outside perimeter of my face. Thank you. 
All right, for the time being, we're good with complexion. I'm gonna move on to eyes, and then we'll continue after that with how to get the glowy dewiness on the high parts of the cheeks and other areas. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna do for eyes is I'm going to use a primer. I'm using the Candlelight Primer from Too Faced. It kinda has an illumination behind it. I'm going to take that same candlelight primer and while I'm at it I'm just going to apply a little bit on the high points of my cheeks just right here and this is going to help make our powder kind of stay a little longer and make it so we don't have to apply as much so it doesn't get that powdery look and I'm just kind of uh, what, what is this? Uh, <laughs> I'm just bouncing it up and down on the skin to blend it out. Alright, so we're going to start with eyeshadow. I'm using the Smashbox palette Shades of Fame, and it looks like this. I'm using it because it has a lot of uh, shimmery, uh, dewy, warm colors in it, and that's really what we need to achieve this look. So the first color I'm going to go in with is this color called Sandstone. Looks like that. I'm going to use a stiff dome brush, and I'm going to press this all over my lid. switch brushes up and I'm gonna go in with a narrow crease brush I'm gonna go in with this neutral color called nude it's about two shades darker and then my skin tone and it's and it's matte and I'm gonna put that right in my natural crease The next color I'm going to go in with is called Praline. It's a really uh, metallic, shimmery, bronze color. Same brush. And I'm going to put it right over that neutral color we just put on. But very lightly. The next color I'm going to go in with is this color called Mocha. And it's a really deep dark chocolatey brown. I'm going to use the same brush and I'm going to put it right here. Uh, I'm going to switch brushes up. I'm going to go in with a nice fluffy dome brush and I'm going to take this orange color called Sherbert and I'm going to blend the edges out of these dark colors. But just a little bit. I don't want this color to be too much. And then I'm going to go in with this matte color called Bliss. It's like a creamy white, a couple shades lighter than my skin tone. And I'm going to blend it into my brow. I'm going to go in with the color sandstone again and I'm going to go over the bliss we just put on in our brow just to make it super glowy looking. Alright then I'm going to take this cream eyeliner. It's just a gold liner if you have a liner pencil or a pot or something that's fine. I'm going to take a stiff dome brush and I'm going to apply this to my lower lash line. With the same crease brush, I'm going to go over that gold with this nude color, just so we can deepen it. Then I'm going to 
gonna go in with that color praline and I'm gonna put it over the nude. Then I'm gonna take the darkest color mocha with the same brush and I'm gonna run it along the lashes just like it's eyeliner. I'm gonna switch brushes up. I'm gonna use a nice little crease brush and I'm gonna take that color sandstone and I'm gonna blend the bottom edges out of our lower lash line just so it's not a harsh line and kind of connect it up here. Alright, for eyeliner, I'm going to use a Smashbox Chubby Pencil. This one's called Luminous Fig. And I'm going to put it right, I'm going to tight line with it. I'm going to wiggle it in between my lashes. I'm going to take that same shadow stick and I'm going to put it in my lower waterline. Next, I'm going to take my lash lining tool by Too Faced. It looks like this. Sorry, the writing's all worn off. And I'm just going to tight line the top of my lashes. go back in with my luminous fig pencil and I'm just gonna run it really close to the top of my lashes just so it kind of uh, blends the edges out of the uh, tight liner next take a small smudge brush and I'm gonna use that color praline again and I'm just gonna smudge the liner out to give it a nice smoky effect so it's not like a harsh liner. Alright for mascara, I'm going to choose a lengthening mascara. And I'm using Smashbox Hyper Lash. And it's just for lengthening. The brush looks like this. It has like this mohawk on it. Yeah. So we're going to use the other side first. And then we're going to flip it around and use that comb. Alright, now that the eyes are done, we can move on to the rest of the face. I'm going to take my NARS Duo of Orgasm and Laguna. And I'm going to take a uh, angled blush brush. And I'm going to go in with that uh, Orgasm. And then I'm going to take a little bit of that Laguna and I'm going to brush it over the orgasm. Alright, now it's time to move on to the luminizer. So I'm an oily type complexion, so I like to use powder luminizers, but you can do the same with liquid if you're a drier type. I'm going to use the Laura Mercier Golden Mosaic Highlighter Palette. It just comes with four colors. I'm going to use my fingers to do this. I'm going to take it in that champagne color right here only. And I'm just going to kind of uh, use my fingers right here to concentrate it right on the highest part of my cheekbone and kind of blend it into that orgasm blush. Go Cinderella, go Cinderella, orgasm blush. And I'm going to bring it all the way around my brow. take a fluffy brush like this and I'm going to use the same palette but this time I'm going to just kind of go in all the colors and kind of tap it off and just gently kind of buff it into that orgasm blush we had just to kind of make it more golden looking. I'm still going to use the highlighter with the fluffy brush and I'm going to continue to bring it down the neck and put it on the chest. 
So I'm going to line my lips. I'm just going to use a nice nude lip pencil. Any one will do. And I'm going to line the outside of my lip. The lipstick I'm going to use is by Makeup Forever. It's number 22. It's a really uh, beijing nude matte color. Next I'm taking a lip gloss by Calvin Klein. It's called, it's called Radar. And it's just a nice like uh, peachy brown. And I'm going to put it over that Makeup Forever. All right, ladies, so that concludes our how to get glowing makeup look. I hope you liked it. As you can see, uh, I'm kind of reflecting light, which is the goal. And yeah, so I hope you liked it. And as always, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.